Hi, my name is Janet Minoski smith and here I'm going to show you how you can use Google Slides to make a Connect Four or bingo type game that you can play online with your students. So Google Slides is part of Google Drive. It's one of the apps you can use. It's very similar to Microsoft PowerPoint, so I imagine you can do this in PowerPoint as well. But uh, I use it not for a slide presentation, but for each slide is a game that I've created that then I can just open up this game's slide file that I've made and click on one and select it to play with students. So um, let me just go ahead and show you the components for the Connect Four game. If you look, there's a grid here and I use the table tool to make that. I use the text box tool to make a text box so that I could give words to a student and they will either type the words or sentences for spelling practice or I would type something and they can use it for reading practice. I also use the text tool to make these numbers and this directions box and then I also I finally use the shape tool to make the game pieces which can be moved once a die, a die is rolled and you then go ahead and move your piece and the goal is to get four in a row. And by the way, in terms of rolling a die, you can go and just Google dice roll apps and open one right up on your computer screen and make it small and then you and your student can actually roll a die online. All right, so let me show you how you can make this type of game, and you can apply the same thing to the bingo game. You would want to make, I'm going to add a slide, and I'm going to pick the blank. And then once I have the blank slide, the first thing I need is my table tool to make the grid. So I'm going down here to insert, and then table, and then I'm going to select four across and four down. And that gets put right in the slide and I resize it and then I want to add some color so that it's easy to see so I'll make it a blue color and then to give it contrast I'll make the border purple and to help see it even better I'll make the line on the border a lot thicker so we're using the tools up here so now I actually have my grid already, and I would get the text box tool and create a box for typing my text up top, and then do the same things in terms of creating uh, some contrast to make it really stand out, and you can and your student can see it. So there's my text box for typing. Or my student typing the words that we're practicing and then finally and then you can put the name using another text box directions as I said before finally we want to make our game pieces and you can use any shape you could use just a plain circle or you could use something like um, a heart or a sun or a cloud but just pick the shape you want and make it the size you want and then again go ahead and add some color to it um, I'll make this pink and give it a purple outline and make the outline a little thicker once you have the shape if you hold the control key down and hit C you copy it and then hold the control key down and Hit B, you will paste your copies and you can make as many pieces as you want. And if you need another color for the other player, pick the piece, unselected piece, and change the color. And then copy that, Control C, and then Control V. And you can paste uh, what you have in terms of making more tokens. So, and the uh, 
title of your game if you want to do that. Put the numbers above using the text tool. And then when you're finished, you're going to have the game that looks like the one that I already have made here. And you see I use the smile shape and the heart shape for my tokens here. So just so you know, you can make those on your own. But all the games you see here on the side are all games that I've made. And I've created a shared Google Drive file that contains all of those games. And they're available for anybody who would get my How to Tutor um, online games for tutors book. I have a link in the back of that book that would give you access to the free games plus PDF files of some games that you can download and print if for students that you meet in person or you can import to OneDrive and play on that format as well. So I hope these give you some great ideas for making your tutoring even better when you meet with your students.